It's Alex Gordon Day at Kauffman Stadium. Please welcome back to Kauffman Stadium, left fielder number four, Alex Gordon. And last year became only the third player in Major League history to win a gold glove in his final season. Alex won a platinum glove in 2014 and last year became the only player in Major League history to win a platinum glove in his final season. And that number four or that image is what hangs over his old locker. He has been given that as well. One of five players who spent their entire career with this organization on the hill for the Royals, Carlos Hernandez. This is a guy who can reach 100 miles an hour. If he can locate it properly, he can be tough. How about that? Going right with the changeup and getting the strike out of Scope, who has been their hottest hitter of late. Casey Mize on the mound, making his 19th start. He's faced the Royals four times already in his short career. He got him looking. Mize wins that one-on-one -on -one battle. Two away. Now the 2-2. That's laced to left. And Badu makes a fine running grab to retire the Royals in order. The 1-0 to right field for a base hit. One ball, no strikes to Harold Castro. On the ground to first. Santana with a nice play to get a runner at second. They can't double up Castro, and a run will come home. Miguel Cabrera scores. The Tigers, like last night, take the early lead in Kansas City, 1-0. Hernandez at the belt, brings it home, and a swing and a miss. Got him with a breaking ball to end the inning. More favorable the pitch count, better pitch you're going to get. Just over his head, in comes the third baseman, Candelario. Bobbles the ball, can't make the play, and O'Hearn's going to be safe. Throwing high fastballs to a good high ball hitter, you can get in some trouble. Swing and a miss at a slider down and away. He just wiped out Dozier with a terrific slider. Back-to-back -back walks to open the third inning. Not a good sign for Carlos Hernandez. The bases are loaded because of walks. Grossman is aboard, and the bases are loaded for Miguel Cabrera. Three walks in the inning to load the bases right here, and perfect spot for Miguel Cabrera. Drives one to right field. O'Hearn makes a nice grab. It's deep enough to score Derek Hill. Miguel Cabrera has himself a sacrifice fly, and it's 2 0 Tigers. 2 and 2 to Jamer Candelario. The fly ball to deep center field. Taylor going back. That ball is gone in the batter's eye. It's a three run blast. And the Tigers have opened it up here in the third. Ed Jamer right there put a nice swing on a guy that throws the ball real hard. Wave and a miss. Casey Mize has his third strikeout of the night, and it's a big one to get the more dangerous leadoff men in all of baseball with Merrifield. The 2 2. Swung yeah, on and missed. One. No problem for Casey Mize. Second time that he does Santana, and he leaves a man in scoring position. 11 pitches for Mize in the third. Perez lined out to Akil Badu his first time up in left field. Hit it well, but Badu had a nice jump on it. This one is sprayed to right. Robbie Grossman tracking it, and he slides and puts it away. That was a very, very good catch right there. Not easy to do. The 2-2. Swung on and missed. Casey Mize overpowered him there. That is strikeout number five on the night for Mize. And there's two up and two down in the Kansas City board. The 1-1. One, one. There it is. He goes to right field. Just like clockwork. Just a great piece of hitting. And the hitting streak continues for Jonathan Scope. Make it 14 straight. And the Tigers have runners at the corners with nobody out. Singled and scored in the second, and a sacrifice fly in the third. Fly ball, yeah, right we'll field. Job done. O'Hearn feeling for the fence. He's got it a couple of feet deep on the warning track. Another sacrifice fly for Miguel Cabrera. He brings home Akil Badu, and the Tigers are up a half a dozen. To put the bat on the ball, find some holes, and get on the board here. 
Hunter Dozier will lead things off, and he grounds one up the middle. Tough play for Castro, and he can't come up with it. That should be a base hit for Dozier because that was a very difficult play for Harold Castro. It is a base hit. Ground ball, base hit through the whole left side. So now it'll be the number nine hitter, Nicky Lopez, digs in. In the alley, right center, Grossman can't reach it. Here comes Dozier, he will score, and the Royals are on the board, trailing 6-1. to one. Good at-bat by Lopez. So now Salvador Perez, who has been clutch for the Royals the entire year. Oh, and baby. Salvi gets into one high and deep, and that ball is long gone. Salvador Perez has the Royals right back in it. Salvi's 22nd homer, and it was a beauty. Three for three is Nicky Lopez. That ties a career high with his seventh three-hit game. Two right field. Lopez will stop at second base. First and second, only one out with Santana coming up. 6-4 Tigers in the bottom of the seventh. There are two on and one out for Carlos Santana. Santana swings, and it's a line drive deep into right field, and it is gone. And the Royals have come all the way back to take the lead. Short, quick, compact, back underside. Fans are calling for a curtain call. That was... Timely. How about a doinker? Perez continues the inning with his second hit of the night. Ball four. So Funkhauser is leaking oil, and he was really terrific the last 10 games. We told you only one run allowed in his previous 16 and a third innings. Ian Kroll comes out of the bullpen, and immediately Mike Matheny changes up by bringing on Hanser Alberto. It well, center field. Derek Hill can't get there. Perez scores. Benintendi scores. Alberto with a triple. The Royals lead by three. Heck, why settle for a double when you could hit a triple? I mean, he unloaded on this fastball. Fly ball, deep right field. Dyson's got it. Oh, he dropped it. Haas all the way into second base. The leadoff man is aboard for the Tigers here in the ninth. Tigers need one more base runner to bring the potential tying run to the plate. Badu, as the lineup turns over. Uh-oh. Sends one to deep right field. Back goes Dyson. He'll watch it fly. A two-run blast for Akil Badu. And the Tigers aren't done yet. Well, that was a no-doubter. Here it is. Didn't get the chance. Walks Cabrera. Two men on, two men out in the ninth. Mike Matheny's seen enough. And Wade Davis comes out of the bullpen. Wade last pitched on Sunday versus Baltimore, recorded a 1 2 3 ninth. Check swing. Did he go? Yes! Yes, he did! And Wade Davis gets the save, and the Royals survive. Way to pick up your longtime friend. Greg Holland with a nice strikeout to help him out there finishing it up in the Royals. Coming back with the largest deficit comeback win since June of 2017. Amazing.